Reinforcement learning is a rapidly growing research area. In this short presentation, I'll describe enterprise applications of reinforcement learning. Along the way, I'll list exciting new tools to pay attention to, as well as challenges that remain. Let's quickly review the basic forms of machine learning. In unsupervised learning, one looks for previously undetected patterns in a data set with no pre-existing labels. Cluster analysis is a common example of unsupervised learning. The most common form of machine learning is supervised learning, a set of techniques that rely on labeled examples. Classification and regression are popular examples of supervised learning. While many data scientists routinely use unsupervised and supervised learning, not as many have experience with reinforcement learning. But in recent years, prominent examples of self-learning systems relied on reinforcement learning, and those success stories have made RL into a hot topic among AI researchers. In fact, RL is no longer just a research endeavor. At least in major tech hubs in the United States, the number of jobs that mention reinforcement learning is already about one-ninth the number of job postings that mention deep learning. And as many of you may be aware of, Deep learning is a hot topic in industry. If you ask a random developer if they know of any applications of RL, chances are they'll point to gameplay. That's because RL has been used to win challenges against humans in multiplayer video games and board games. Some developers might also be aware of applications of RL in industrial automation and robotics. When does reinforcement learning make sense as an alternative to supervised learning? In certain situations, it is difficult to obtain the labeled data needed for supervised learning because labels are expensive or labels are difficult to assign. There are also application environments where memory plays a role. These are situations where pertinent decisions depend on a series of events rather than a singular event that can be conveniently labeled. For example, churn might be due to an accumulation of minor events. There are many business problems and applications that can be cast as sequential decision making. And for this set of problems, RL is starting to be evaluated alongside more familiar approaches. Let me explore two classes of problems where reinforcement learning is starting to play a role. Several tech companies have given talks or published articles describing how they're beginning to incorporate RL into existing recommenders or personalization systems. The idea is to utilize real-time user feedback and behavior in recommender systems by building RL's agents that optimize desired reward functions. Some common examples of reward functions used in this setting include user engagement or long-term satisfaction. This is just a partial list of companies who have incorporated RL into recommenders. They have had to overcome several challenges in order to integrate reinforcement learning into their large-scale recommendation systems. These early examples of RL for recommenders have drawn a lot of interest. But as with any new technology or technique, adoption depends on examples and training materials. While these few well-known companies have written or spoken about their use of RL for recommenders, broad adoption will require access to open source tools, sample code, and tips for how to overcome challenges specific to RL, such as setting up simulation environments or how to learn from historical logs. Let me describe another set of examples. Simulation modeling and optimization have many real-world applications. Areas where these techniques have long been used include logistics, retail, manufacturing, and more. There are software providers that let companies test and explore what-if scenarios to improve their forecasting and planning. And some of these simulators even come with 2D and 3D animation tools 
for visualizing simulations. Once you understand the problems the simulation modeling tools are attempting to solve, it's no surprise that RL is beginning to be integrated into such software. Applications of RL in playing complex multiplayer video games hint at future software systems designed to model and simulate business processes and problems. True San Francisco Bay Area startups Patmind and Bonsai, now part of Microsoft, I've already seen early glimpses of how RL is being incorporated into simulation modeling software. Coincidentally, both Patmind and Bonsai use RLlib, a very popular open source library for reinforcement learning built on top of Ray. We are beginning to see more tools, both open source and software as a service for reinforcement learning. These tools pave the way for practitioners who want to experiment with RL, but may not have the expertise to build their own suite of tools. Note that RLlib is also available as part of both Amazon Web Services and Microsoft Azure. There are a growing number of industry users adopting RLlib. Here are just a few. RLlib is proving to be a great library for practitioners because all algorithms included are distributed and accessible through a simple Python API. The growth in the number of tools and enterprise use cases bode well for the practical applications of RL. With that said, RL has several well-documented challenges. For example, RL introduces additional algorithmic and system complexity that go beyond supervised machine learning. It is also difficult to test, ensure the reliability of, and improve RL systems that run within live systems that cannot be effectively simulated. For example, recommenders fall in this category. For more on reinforcement learning, attend an upcoming free virtual conference happening July 8th. Visit anyscale.com slash events for details. Thank you.